Hello beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mac and today we are going to do an unboxing, flip through and the first impression of Chris Ann's latest work which is the Tower of Curious Creatures and this is of course um, published by Hay House and like I mentioned um, before I do love cards which has an extra um, more than 70 cards extra cards <laughs> all right so this is by Chris Ann and if you um, are familiar with her she was the one who um, created the Lightseer Tarot the most famous one and um, the Muse Tarot as well so um, I believe this is the third one and this one was just published November 2nd I think or third it's the same it's the same time as um the one during star tarot so um right now we're gonna have to flip this through and it retails for 26.99 i'm sorry for the glare remove the plastic first so um i am really curious well it's <laughs> it's maybe pun pun not intended but i'm really curious about you know how um, this deck differentiates from the other sorry I'm having a hard time removing it um, from the other what do you call this half human half animal um, tarot decks that I have one of those that I have is the um, Bohemian Tarot the flip through of that one but I will be soon this is a hard I it's hard editing you know it's hard editing um videos alone so just throw away the plastic okay so um Matt feels Matt and I'm pretty much yeah curious how this one is going to read and feel later on. So at the back it says in here the Tower of Curious Creatures with their illuminating conversations and grounded wisdom. The curious and quirky characters in the 78 plus one card deck and guidebook are a strangely familiar twist in the traditional tarot. Journey with these friendly creatures to the center of your truth and allow them to guide you toward the unfolding of your intuitive of knowing. So it reaches for $26.99, published by Hay House, 30 bucks right here, a common one. And at the back of the box, or inside the box rather, oh, okay, there's something written there. Uh, okay. So it says there, and she promised to always be curious for its delightful wonder fueled her soul oh wow that's amazing <laughs> so kind of like it's a tarot deck for people who are full of curiosity maybe i don't know <laughs> all right so oh there's um a uh, scan our QR code there so I might try to see what that is all about but go ahead and figure out <laughs> I haven't figured it out yet so um, okay but yeah we can probably check later on I'll probably insert somewhere after this video what that one is about and let's go ahead and proceed first as usual with the guidebook but let me just remove the paper binding right now so we're gonna have to like continue with it later on hmm, the smell of new cards just addictive <laughs> okay all right now um now we have in here the guidebook. So it says here um, the Tower of Curious Pictures title page, copyrighted 2021, of course. 
and yeah, the Lightseers, the Moose Tarot, and the Sacred Creators Oracle. Yeah, I totally forgot about her Oracle deck. I haven't had got a hold of that one, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking twice if I'm going to get that or not, but I will for the sake of unboxing. And here are the table of contents, education page. Hmm. It's just a few, but I wonder what the heads and tails is about. Um, Alright, so, and she promised to always be curious. So we have in here your curious guide. <clears throat> Alright, so your curious guides. Um, hmm, let's see. Alright, so it actually says in here how um, you'll be able to meet or to look at one particular card, which is going to be your um, curious guide. It's kind of like a familiar card that you have in this deck. Um, you're going to have to look through the cards and um, you're going to go through each one of them and choose one which really calls to you which looks familiar to you and you're going to actually um use that one to um what do you call this you're going to use that one as your guide it could be um a, a, a very significant card for you it could be a sign it could be a yes card all right we are going to do that one later on we're going to have to like um see what we feel with the cards before going through the guidebook so let's see all right um okay and then all right there's one here it's like trying to feel familiar with the cards where are you gonna have to like pick one card and see if you know if it could be your curious guide? Um, and then let's see here. So we have the <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm not sure if you can see it clearly, but maybe my light is still too strong. So hold on, yeah, I think that's much better. All right, so um, let's see here. Um, okay, now next is, it's a great weed right there. So how are you going to have to, you know, um, get familiar with the deck by just using your intuition? Here are some guides, and then here are readings with these here's cards. How are you going to ask a question, and then path working with your curious guides. So this one, it's going to be about working, uh, it's a tarot technique, working with the, the card, having this conversation inside your head, or inside your mind, inside your um, subconscious, um, in a way, and how are you going to have to use your intuition, your creativity, your visual your visualization um, with the card so it's actually nice and then what else so that's actually a lot of you know um, trial with the card because this is unusual very unusual for a tarot to have well not very unusual I think they're starting to like put them together already you know um animals and humans involved in in, 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 a, in a tarot so i was stuttering there for a second in a tarot so um yeah this is cool pretty interesting all right and then take a photo of this fancy code and we'll walk you through path working okay so this is with path working i'm not sure if it's the same as the one in the guidebook i will tell you later on at the end of the video Alright, so heads or tails. Um, I sorry, this is about reversal meanings. And hmm, so it's heads if it's you know upright and tails if it's reversed. 
Okay. So, we're going to have to see if there is a reverse meaning later on. So, this spreads. It's about um, one card, three card spread. Then, we have here as well guide guidance spread. What else? Meeting season spread. Cool. This is nice. <laughs> Interesting. And um well okay, that that that's uh, that's about it for this part. <clears throat> so this is about path work. Yeah, kinda like path working as well. And then we have here the majorly curious messages. So these are the meanings of the cards now. And now I've noticed um, already with, with Hay House that they are not putting um, an image which is going to be, um, I will have to say, it's, well, you're going to have to like look at the cards for you to be able to you know to if you're just learning the meanings of the cards you're gonna have to like take the card with you and read it at the same time but if you are already familiar with tarot and it's fine not having images in the guidebook so all right um the heads would be the upright the tails it's the reverse meaning and then meaning of the card so these are kind of like phrases, phrases, keywords, and then pop conversations. Oh, cool. It's nice. And then here, I think it's about the animal that's associated with the card. So what they are relating, kind of like message, what message they're relating to. So that's nice interesting that we have all of those kind of you know animal creatures in every in each card so that's really something else that you know it's really new to me anyway so let's see i think it goes with yeah it goes already with um even the minor arcana cards even the court cards they're all this, yeah. It's it's, um, it's all the same. So, all right, that's a good thing to read, and I'm excited to find out how it would read from the guidebook. So, acknowledgement about the author, and now we have here about Tea House, and that's that marketing stuff. That's it. So that's about it for the guidebook. And let me just put this oh sorry let me just put this aside and we are going to proceed with the flip through <clears throat> oh i can smell the roof of the cards so i don't know i just really find it it's one of my i don't know um the, the the greatest one of the um the, one of the things that I really like is the smell of new cards, new books, all those stuff. Okay, so anyway, all right. So let's it's it's mad. By the way, the cards are mad. And then for the um, card stock, it's the usual. Um, I think it kind of it seems like it's a little bit thin on the thinner side now, but maybe it's the same as the light seer star oh, hold on one second let me just grab it well i haven't really touched my um light seers tarot for a while so okay let's see if it does have the same um okay now that we're in this one i don't think so um, but it does, yeah, it kind of looks the same. Maybe it's because of the imagery, but they're exactly the same. Um, cardstock, alright. Cardstock is the same. 
So yeah, no difference. Maybe it's just that I haven't really um, touched the lights here, Sarah, for some time. <laughs> that's why for a few weeks now, that's why I kind of like forgot um, how it feels. So again, it's the same. Uh, same card stock, same, same size. Um, it's still 7 by 12 inch. So, here we go. We have, oh, the back, by the way, it's a purple, purple, um, how do you call this? It's a purple, uh, <clears throat> well, kind of like lavender in a way. And red, it. It sort of reminds me of the news hero, but this is probably even better. I don't know. So they are bordered, um, kind of bordered because some of the um, some of the designs are um, how do you call this? Well, some of the designs are. Um, extended outside the borders, so which is just okay, just fine with me. I don't really mind it. All right, so we have the full card. Let me see. Right now we have the full card right there. Can you see it? I hope the glare is not really um, making it hard, but let's see. Hold on. Yeah, I think that's much better. All right, so now we have the full card, and it's just a dog right here. We have the feather, and we have the flower still, and the heel. So, All right now we have magician. Still, we have the infinity symbol right there, and all the um, suits. So there are two infinities above, one above, and one below. And then the High Priestess. Hold on. The Empress. The Emperor. The Hierophant. The Lovers. I'm going to probably like flip through the cards um, a little bit fast. Very sorry about that. I had to like turn down the air cushion. Cause it's a little bit cold. Um, all right, so we have the fruit wheel of fortune now. <laughs> this is actually um, somehow a uh, a fun wheel of fortune card with someone already um, sitting right there. Coolness and T A R O. -T. Oh, look at my... Okay, it's not intentional. It just so happened like I was looking for something to put on my nails. And I sort of kind of liked the blue-gray color. So, alright, now we have the Justice car. The Hangman. Hmm, cool. Look. He seems to be wondering, you know, um, at a different, a different perspective level, which is really nice for a hangman card right there. The death card. Now we have temperance. The devil. The tower. Who? 
Okay, this is an exciting and different tower card. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. And then we have this star card. Oh. We have the, the moon. We have the crab, the owl. And he, and him at the same time is also howling. So it's kind of like two of them, right? Hmm. Uh, I'm getting more curious. Um, how they read from the guidebook. We have the sign, the judgment, the world, how <laughs> cute. Hey, we have, okay, so this is the full 2.0, this is the extra card, in a way, so you have like, oh, nice, alright, so we have the full, and we have a 2.0 full card. So this one is without you. So, okay, I'm, I'm really curious how this is going to be. Maybe um, it's like the first one. So we have an infinity symbol right there. So it's kind of like um, this is you wanting to take the risk um, and, and stuff. And then this one, it's more of like letting letting everything um, everything else happen as it is and this one is already you yourself deciding to take the risk I don't know that's just that's just me this is my um, how I feel towards it but, but let's let's see later on so, you know we have the ace of wands cool. And the keys right there. Oh, great. And then three of wands. I don't see any boat, but. Hmm. Okay. We have the four of wands. There's no partner in here, so this is one person. Five of wands. the six of wands seven of wands eight of wands oh look Nine of Wands. Ten. Oh. Page. If you want to take a look at them uh, longer, you can just go ahead and um, click your pause button. Queen of Wands. It's actually nice using. A lion. Lion's head. Cool. And we have the black god. Alright. So, next we proceed with the cops suit. Suit of cops. And we have an octopus right here. Octopus hand. We have the water, the cup, and we have two swan. The images are really interesting. It kind of like, you know, um, triggers questions on my mind. How they're gonna have to read um, when you spread them out, when you use a spread. And it's really interesting to probably do a um, one card reading for this deck. 
<laughs> cute. Oh. The mother and the child. It still gives you this nostalgic feeling, right? Oh, look. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just really having fun with it with the images right here. It's because it's something else, you know, it's it's not from the ordinary um well it's still RWS based um images, however, because of the um the twist of combining human and a creature or animal creature in the images it's kind of like um twists your mind a bit how you're gonna have to read them because you're gonna have to take a look at how or the the animal's personality in the tarot as well or in in the card as well so the Knight of Cups, Queen, oh. Okay, oop, sorry. Now we are in the Suit of Swords. Two of Swords. Okay. Look. Huh. I'm not sure if I can consider this as an anguish look, but um, in a way, yeah, sort of, I think. Four of Swords, oh look, resting. If you can hear um, a dog barking, that's our neighbor's dog. <laughs> I was, I should have like done this. Um, I don't know, flip through a little later, but I'm about to go to work in a few hours, so I just wanted to do this flip through first. Alright. Oh, look at the face. Okay, he's do have a really great image right here for the Nine of Swords and Ten of Swords. Now we're into a Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords. King of Swords. Okay, for some reason, I know I've already um, like mentioned this one a couple of times that I'm not really into collage arts um, in a tarot. The effort that was that, the, that every artist puts in a tarot, I highly respect it, but it just doesn't give me a very in-depth um, intuitiveness when it comes to digital arts than the hand drawings than hand drawing so um, I don't know but but sometimes sometimes all right sometimes these type of cards um, are also I don't know, maybe it's just me that I'm having a hard time connecting with cards like this. But it's it's just me. It, it doesn't totally... Um, I'm not saying that it doesn't completely connect with me. It does connect with me, but not sort of the same like um, hand-drawn um, illustrations in a tarot. It's kind of like, it's a little bit overwhelming for me. If, the images are like this um, but I'm excited to try this one out maybe it will change 
you know, how I view digital arts in a tarot, but let's see. But I'm really having fun with the with the images. <laughs> They're really cute. They're really nice. And it kind of also has this, um, you know, 70s, 60s look into in the cards. Or the, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like having the vibe of, you know, um, old, uh, what do you call this? Old, old, not really old, but maybe like around 50s and 60s vibe probably because of the way they dress mm. but yeah it does give me that vibe as well so now we proceed with oh sorry we proceed of course with trying to um, shuffle the cards with the shuffle really well and I might bump into this one so hold on Okay. Oh, sorry. Hmm. Having a hard time shuffling the deck for some reason. But let's see. Well, not bad. Not really bad at all, but I wish. Okay, I'm having a problem with Hay House using the paper binding. Um, I just really wish they wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't really make it tight because look at that. I always um, notice like the King of Pentacles will always have that kind of dent right there if you can see it. Uh, yeah, there you go, if you can see it. It's because this is okay. If you can see, this is already the King of Pentacles, so I would know what card it is. So I, I really hope that Hay House um, will have to do something about this one because kind of like destroys the edge of the King of Pentacles. So, um, there's n nothing wrong with shuffling it, overhand shuffling, or sorry, um, virtual shuffle. And overhand shuffling isn't bad either, if you can see that. So where is... Okay, I, I said we're going to have to like um, read this one before the guidebook, right? So... Um, so we have the King of Cups and from here, he certainly looks like... Um, someone who is very understanding and calm. I do feel the calmness in this card. Um, someone who has learned how to um, how not to be or how not to react impulsively with whatever is going on around him. A very understanding person is what I can feel on this card as well. And he's someone who can totally understand what's what's going on, what the situation is all about. He knows exactly how to react to a particular situation. He seems to be accommodating, he seems to be easy to to approach. So it kind of provides or it kind of like gives me this feeling of you know you are going to be um, you're going to look at things um, by understanding it first before probably reacting or before um, making a decision um, you want to weigh things out first before concluding things and you want to see through all of um, all of possible situations before 
you'll be able to come up with a decision but you will totally understand um, all aspects and uh, I feel like um, you're not going to be overwhelmed with any ideas at all. You're filled with, you know, you're filled with, with emotions. So you like the feeling. You, you like what you're feeling right now. And you're just, you know, you're just calm. You're just um, observing as well in a way. So let's see how it would be from the guidebook then. <clears throat> and someone might even be, you know, approaching you in a very calm way. That's how I could totally look at this card. Alright, so King of Cups from the guidebook. It says in here, um, right, okay, I'm not sure if you can read it, but there you go. So for the King of Cups, it says in here, um, mindfulness, dignity, kindness, a heart-centered leader, an incredible capacity to love, an empathic soul, centeredness, a profound connection to spirit, and emotional in intelligence. So calm and compassionate, I was right. And um, in blissful awareness of his responding emotions, the this polar bear king of cups sits smiling, powerful, and perfectly attuned to his environment. He's centered and ready to offer relationship advice, love, a peacekeeping solution, and most of all, forgiveness. He claims his power regardless of the circumstances around him. And he remains grounded and connected to his higher self, even though his melting homeland shifts tumultuously. He always swims toward benevolent surroundings and uses his kind wisdom to make sure everyone is looked after. Follow his courageous and compelling lead. Show empathy and willingness to hear the perspectives of those around you. Seek quick solutions. Oops, sorry. Seek quick solutions to any challenges that arise and find a balance between the logic of the mind and the sentiment of the heart in shadow he reminds you to study your internal world walk away from manipulative situations or from your own tendencies to pull back to over control your emotions or to sway the emotions of others find peaceful solid ground with your with your passionate wisdom so this shadow right here would um have to be um connected already with uh reverse meaning so yeah this okay now for the polar bear conversations i am the spirit of tenacity and strength and i walk proudly and in love with the world power and um peace can be found when we rein ourselves in and put our emotions to good use how do you use your emotions to your best advantage for a life well lived all right so yep. okay so you are if this is you then most likely you're the one who's in a situation where you are um using all the knowledge that you have learned in the past weighing the situations based from your experiences in the past so that you won't make the same mistake and um you won't be able to you know you won't be able to um, regret um, any decisions that you're gonna have to make so you tend to like weigh things and make sure that what your decision will have to be for the common good of everyone like you're weighing all the options and situations and the consequences first before you have to finally decide on something so this is how I will have to look at it and the guidebook it's just the usual he has or the usual, yeah, usual, yeah, the usual, um, Chris Ann, I think, um, how she makes her guidebook, but, um, yeah, it's totally, um, what do you call this, it's, it, it, it totally, it, it is easy to connect with the cards, um, like I said, I was, I, 
I intuitively had this um, you know feeling of weighing things in a balanced way before concluding something before coming up to with this final decision and then you'll be able to um, and then you are calm I had that perfectly resonated with well with this card so um, I don't think I have any I don't know anything bad to say about this card except well like I said it's it's just me I'm not really a fan of digital collage arts I guess but they are easy to connect with in a way they are um, because most of the images are RWS, RWS based so it's still easy to read um, the images are fun to look at I'm pretty much amazed at you know how the combination of you know animal creatures and human will go in a card in each of the cards so this is actually perfect um well yeah in a way it's somehow perfect i don't know um, i'm not sure if this would be a newbie friendly deck I'm not entirely sure because there is the aspect of an animal combined in a card so they might have a little bit um, they might have a little hard time rather getting the idea of the card because of the combination of the um, creature and um, animal creature and human in the cards but for those who are already used to tarot meanings those who are already been well, those have already been using tarot for quite some time now I don't think this is going to be a problem with you um, so this is it for the um, so this is it already for the tarot creatures guys um have you do you already have this deck have you had the chance to work with it um how was it um did you also have the same problem like i did with when it comes to you know um digital collage arts like this one but i do like the um the the feeling of 50s 60s on these cards in a way but it's still a little bit overwhelming for me for the images i don't know that's just me anyway so i'm sorry if there are some of you who love this i love the art i'm sorry not the artwork itself but i love the images because they are really fun to look at and they are i don't know i just like the effort that was put into collaging them i guess but again it's not it's not my um it's not really my preference at all when it comes to tarot so how about you guys what's your what's your um what do you feel about these cards what is your what are your thoughts about it and i'd really like to know as well if it's just if i mean if i'm alone with you know with not feeling so much about these cards but yeah i think that's all for me today though know? and if you would like to if you've been eyeing on the crystals that you see here um, around my sacred space you can actually um, I'll put the links on the description box below where you'll be able to find them um, the house of mystics you can they do international shipping by four Sarah Sarah stone I'm not yet sure so go ahead and click them and then send them a message if you have any inquiries about the crystals or about their shipping um, policies, alright? If you have any other cards, by the way, that you would like to do, that you would like me to do an unboxing of, please go ahead and comment down below and I will 
try to look for those cards for you uh, for independent decks as well and um what else yeah if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so now and do not forget to hit that bell button so that you'll be notified if in case i will be uploading new videos all right thank you again for watching have a great day bye